Hi, my name is Peter Amos and I'm with Essex Yacht Sales. I work with my colleague Leslie Quarrier, who many of you will know. Today I'm standing on the foredeck of this beautiful Grand Bax 41 Europa. Grand Bax built the 42 trawler from 1965 to 2005, an astounding 40 year run during which they built 1,560 of those spectacular vessels. In fact, we were privileged to sell the last one ever built, hull number 1560. Then a few years later, Grand Banks started with a new design with this GB41. Sounds smaller, but in fact she's bigger because she has a lot more beam. She's almost 16 feet in beam. They made a number of significant improvements to the boat. This boat has stabilizers. This boat has advanced electronic switching of all the house systems called Eplex. Most importantly in the propulsion system, it has twin Cummins mated with Zeus pod drives. That combination allowed the designers to move the engines all the way aft under the cockpit deck. No longer are the engines under the helm deck. That made the helm deck and indeed the whole interior much quieter. In fact, it's very, very quiet. But it also added extraordinary maneuverability with the joystick, the skyhook position holding capability, and improved fuel consumption. This boat is a wonderful couples cruising boat with a very comfortable forward stateroom, an occasional stateroom to port with twin beds, and a very lovely galley and salon. Moreover, she has a large flybridge, a very spacious flybridge, but we'll see later. And up top, there's an 800 pound dinghy davit for your tender. Then lastly, with the engines being moved off, I shouldn't fail to mention that all that space under the helm deck is now opened up, and that becomes a spacious utility room, a place for additional provisions, and a laundry room with a washer dryer. It even has a workbench. So that's the Grand Banks 41, an evolutionary step after the end of the 42. So I'm now coming up this uh, beautiful staircase up to the flybridge. This is a very easy stair, not a ladder. In front of me is a straight settee. This side is a beautiful curved settee with a teak table. We have a serving counter here. Many owners have converted this to put in a grill top and a refrigerator underneath, which is a very nice add-on. Behind me we have the hydraulic steel head davit, it's 800 pound capability with a handheld remote. And then here we have the Gala 10 foot 10 inch dinghy with the 30 horsepower Honda outboard. There's a cradle in the dinghy, you can pick it up with the davit, swing it over and launch her in the water. The mast is a folding mast which can be dropped down should you be doing the Great Loop or for winter storage in a low clearance shed. We have a pompanet uh, captain's seat and the same seat for the mate. The helm station up top here is identical to the one below. That's the latest Garmin which was put in just last year with the uh, Cummins control screens for the engines and basically the same controls as the lower helm. Plenty of room as you can see, a great spot for entertaining very comfortable for all your family and friends and the place where everybody wants to be. We have the Bimini above, but what I like about this boat is we don't have a full enclosure, which I think spoils the lines. This is to me the perfect way to have this boat. And if it's cold or windy, you run the boat from below. So I'm standing here on the cockpit. We have a very large, massive boarding door from the transom. It's very convenient for access. In fact, access is great because we've got transom access and we have boarding gates on both side decks, which is very, very convenient. We have the overhang, which of course is a characteristic of the Europa design, and it's designed to keep the sun off and the salon cool, even in the heat of the day. As I go forward, what I'll notice is the high bulwarks and high sturdy rails. In fact, there's more rails than you can imagine because there's a rail either side of me as I keep coming forward, there's still rails on both sides. So this is a really safe boat for going forward and no one's going to make a fuss when you ask them to pick up a mooring. As we pass here, there's the port boarding gate with the, uh, the Grand Banks logo as a tread plate, which is a lovely feature, I think. 
One of the things I do like about this boat is the massive hardware. The horse holes and the cleats are oversized, frankly, and they're massive and just shows the kind of attention to detail that Grand Banks put into this boat. One of the things we find about Grand Banks is the immense structure, the strength of the boat, the quality of the gel coat and the glass fiber. We don't see cracks, we don't see spider cracks, and it's rare to see these boats requiring painting because the quality of the gel coat is so good. So now we're on the foredeck, more rails as before, plenty of hatches for light, air, and emergency egress, triple windshield with triple wipers and washers. Then this is the best seat in the house. This is a wonderful, comfortable seat where you can sit in the sun and watch the world go by as you cruise. Forward we have the pulpit with the windlass, which is a double roller, and one for the chain and one for road. I'm now on the spacious cockpit deck where we appreciate the full 15 feet, eight inch beam of this Grand Banks 41 Europa. The beautiful teak deck, of course, is bonded. It's not screwed and it's in wonderful condition. The companionway stairs going up to the flybridge. And by the way, this is a sliding cover up here, which is very convenient. So should there be a shower of rain, you can close this off all the way. Beneath here, of course, is the engine. We have lazarettes for extra storage space. One of the nice features of this is the large sliding door, which is uh, very, very smooth. It latches all the way open, and there's barely a step between here and the salon, so it's very convenient for traffic to be moving forward and backwards. Also, you'll notice overhead we have a video camera for uh, when you're going into a slip. I'm standing in the galley at this Grand Banks 41. It's a lovely spot. You're up where the action is next to the captain. You have a very large sink, hot and cold pressure water, filtered water. In front of me, I have the silver uh, drawers, preferably sterling silver. And these are quite spacious with lots of room, lined with felt, one and two. In the corner, we have a pot locker under the fern. We have a three burner princess stove a microwave convection oven below. What I'd also like to show you is this very, very convenient corner cabinet. It looks quite conventional, but it's anything but conventional. This pulls out, this comes across, and this pulls out again. So we have terrific storage for your uh, kitchenware and for your food and dry goods. In addition, to stow this. We have even further storage. Lastly, we have the refrigerator with the freezer compartment. In case you think this maybe looks a little bit small, just remember there's a large chest type freezer in the utility room below. Over here, of course, we have the large double helm seat which has uh, a footrest, which comes up below, very, very convenient. This is a great driving position for the boat because it has a relatively short foredeck and a high seating position. So you have very unobscured forward vision at all times. We have enormous storage here. Underneath, we have even more drawers. They're all uh, available for kitchenware and they have pegs that go into different holes so that you can adjust them to the size of your plates or dishes. Here, we have additional storage. And below, of course, we have the ice maker, something everybody needs. And whilst talking about drinks, what better place than to have a bottle storage? This will hold uh, six or eight large wine bottles or spirit bottles and a nice uh, cover. Under here, more storage, but in this case, this is for your waste bins. These pull out, there's a double waste bin. And behind we have the audio, stereo, Bluetooth, Sirius XM. And now we're in the main seating area of the salon with a straight settee to my right, a beautiful curved settee to my left. Here's a lovely Grand Banks table in inlaid teak, which opens out to a full-size dining table. 
beautiful condition, unmarked. We have a 32 inch uh, flat screen TV. And this is an ottoman for occasional seating, which actually stows in the cabinet below here. Back here we have our AC and heat controls. Actually, there are two zones of AC and heat in this large salon, so you have plenty of heating or cooling in any weather. There are also pleated drapes for all the windows and an external textiline shade for the uh, windscreen and the side windows as well, if you want complete privacy. And back here we have the phantom screen door. This goes all the way across and it retracts into a very neat package. I'm here in the Ford master stateroom of the Grand Banks 41. This is a beautiful teak lined space with very nice overhead hatch with a sunscreen and bug shade, two more ports, a private door to the head. So this can be a private suite. Uh, either side there are large hanging lockers with built-in lights for your clothes. And underneath, there's a significant shelf space uh, under here for additional. This has fitted bed clothes already, brand new. The berth is uh, six foot six inches long and very comfortable with twin reading lights. This space has its own dedicated AC for heat and cooling. So you can be comfortable year round. In fact, this boat has four zones of AC, two zones in the salon, one in the guest stateroom, and one in the master stateroom. I'm here in the guest stateroom. This has twin beds, but in fact, there's a filler piece, so you can make a large queen size bed, very spacious bed. Like the master stateroom, it has a teak lined uh, hanging locker, also with courtesy light inside has its own heat and air conditioning control for this space and also fully dimmable lighting. There's a large overhead hatch with screens and bug screen and twin ports. Also pleated drapes for light control and privacy. A very comfortable room. I'm here in the head and shower on this GV41. It's a beautiful space with the uh, beveled sliding mirrors exposing the port light for ventilation and air. Uh, extra space below, extra space here, lots of storage. Uh, type 3 electric head, very nice vanity, hot and cold pressure water, additionally with filtered drinking water. Behind me is an enormously spacious shower. It's a really nice spot. Uh, it has a glass folding door, which closes completely. And what's more, it has a seat which is really nice on a boat. You can see it's very, very spacious, spacious and adds to the luxury feel of this uh, head and shower. In the cabin sole of the main salon is a large hatch on gas springs. Lifting that, we find a convenient fold-away staircase, which just takes us down into the utility room. This is approximately eight feet by eight feet. It features a large freezer for additional provisions for long distance cruising. It features a washer dryer. It has a workbench. It has ample storage space. One feature the old time captains would really appreciate is both fuel tanks, port and starboard, have sight gauges. So it's an easy way to check the level of fuel in a totally reliable way, not relying on electronic instruments. We're standing here in this beautiful spacious cockpit on the GB41 with a very nice bonded teak uh, cockpit sole. I'll open the hatch, which is on two sturdy gas springs and this reveals the engine room. Going down this convenient stairway uh, we've got lots of space here to move around. Port engine, starboard engine. We have the two pods, one either side of me. These are the upper pods which are two or three years old. The lower pods were both replaced last year. The engines are the QSB 5.9 Cummins engines, which are very reliable six-cylinder engines. The inside of this is unusual insofar as there's gel coat on all the glass fiber surfaces. That makes it very easy to clean and keeps it very shiny and beautiful. Forward is the generator. As I turn around, we see the two sea strainers, raw water strainers for the main engine intake, very conveniently situated. We have the Reverso oil change system and we have the hydraulic controls and power pack for the pods. Well, thank you for watching this short video 
on this 2009 Grand Banks 41. This is offered for sale by Essex Yacht Sales. You'll find us on the internet at essexyachtsales.com and on Facebook at Yacht Sales. We hope to hear from you soon, and should you like to call us, the number is 860-388-8701. Again, thank you for watching.